What's up, guys? We are with more SPL Lycos Clan. Lycos Clan versus Sdown. Let me just rewatch this. He has Deox attack late. Switches out only Ho-Oh into Mega Man's not Mega yet. Uh, maybe he's a facade set who doesn't care, so he doesn't care if he gets burned. But yeah, he gets burned on one, which would potentially be bad if he's not a facade set. But he is a facade set. Blows the Zygarde away. What I was about to say, but that actually didn't do that much. So it's a bulky Zygarde, he doesn't attack it, he doesn't want the Zygarde to get in his 100% form. Oh nice, E-Killer, or at least it's a normal Arceus, we don't know if it's E-Killer yet, but it's like a potential, like pretty obvious E-Killer. Gets a glare off on the Xerneas, it doubles out into the Deoxys attack. I mean last time he switched out, this time he just stays in and goes for rocks. So I assume it's Sash, yeah exactly. And of course he gets the burn. Life of Ho-Oh, okay. They're saying Men stays broken, so Men's probably destroyed something. Yeah, Men's destroyed a Ho-Oh. Good God. I was just a bit behind there. So, Gengar outspeeds this after Mega Wolves, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember the, the speed for Mega Gengar, but it's pretty fast. Yeah, it's 130. And Mega Men's is like one. Journey or something. Let me just double check. I got some rip. I mean, what does he even have to switch in? Yeah, Mega Salmon is one twenty. This could potentially be a, be a hex ganger um, with um, yeah I can see this being a hex ganger because he has glare support from the Zargard and he has sacrifice that can get burns so maybe sub hex sludge bomb some hidden power or some different move that I'm hmm, we will see ganger doesn't really need protect anymore unless it's the perish trap set oh it's taunt okay to prevent rocks that's nice oh rock polish he tried the rock polish. Uh, I was actually trying to, um, yeah, it's Hex, that was at least I, that was at least something that I predicted correctly, because usually I don't know much about Ubers. <laughs> but yeah, since I've been watching some matches, I know a little bit more now. Um, this either runs Rock Polish 3 attacks or SD in the last slot, not sure. But yeah, Quirk, Edge Quirk is pretty like neutral coverage. It could have Fire Punch, but it doesn't necessarily have to. It could also be Dragon Claw. I don't like Dragon Claw on it, especially because like you don't see the Lattice often. But someone used Dragon Claw in another SPL game. Okay, Arceus Ground just defaults. What does he even have for this Arceus? Like, for this E Killer? Like, I guess Gengar outspeeds it. And you cannot, like, focus blast Gengar because Gengar is a ghost type. Now, what the fuck was I trying to say? You cannot e-speed Gengar because Gengar is a ghost type and Gengar can focus blast you if it has it. <laughs> God, that made no sense what I was saying. He can just SD, actually this is Dragon Tail, he cannot SD again. So if he attacks this, it gets into the super busted 100% form. But this is pretty obvious Dragon Tail, so I don't understand SDing again. Was he banking on some choke there? I don't know. How did he go for the dodge like Luigi said in the chat? So yeah, I was trying earlier to record in 1080p by you guys with um, OBS and I still struggle with it. Like my computer, I think my computer is not good enough, which is disappointing. I will try it again later, but I don't want to like try it out now for this recording because if, if I mess it up, my recording is like not usable and I cannot upload it, which would be bad. I just have some, I don't like some things about OBS, when I like open too many programs or when I like render in the background, OBS doesn't work and Camtasia still works, even if I render in the background, so I kind of prefer Camtasia, even if the quality is not that good, like I can only record in 720p. Um, Gira might just die to an earthquake. Not even sure if this man has earthquake though. Okay, he doesn't have it probably. That growth on 8. That's 26%.
rock polishing out here. Um, this might just yeah, it's just this is not weak to. I don't know why I thought it was Arthur's rock. It's not weak to precipice blades, obviously. So yeah. Oh, he misses. That sucks. Rip. Oh well. I should have used overheat. They're saying. Does that Arthur said run it? So Lunala Eclipsing comes out. Um, he doesn't have good switch ins to this either. Like I was about to say, they're on Ice Beam, so Zygarde isn't a switch in. The judgment at 5. Shoutouts to Shadow Shield. Runa stay lucky, Finch saying. What did I. So Star is on a Runas. And I don't know what team likes Klein is on. We will check afterwards. So he's probably gonna go to Gengar or Magina here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what the heck? Magina was like pretty free there, but yeah, this also eats Ice Beam. Yeah, he either gets up Hazard here or here. And go for Jar Ball because there's no good Jar Ball resist. I love how he went out with a thing that I didn't like. I expected to uh, Magina. At first I said Gengar and I was like, nah, Magina. And he went out, nope. I'm going out to this one. Watch him go for the freeze. Okay, that Ice Beam didn't do much. I don't really understand staying in there. Maybe he's just sacking this, but. You will not do any damage to the Feral Thorn by staying in because it probably has a leech seed. Yep, exactly. So it just. Like, see? That Ice Beam did like 2%. Like, the bar almost didn't move. Now he realizes he cannot stay in. That's a nice double leech seed play. But yeah, that. Prismus Blades mess obviously sucked. <laughs> didn't someone say Lunala was broke? Ferris one laughing at Lunala. So he doubles out into E Killer on the Magina. Magina is a pretty obvious switch into Xerneas, so I get that play, but he might have Earthquake on this, which makes sense. He doesn't have lefties. If he would be a bulky set with lefties, he could set up over this. Like he could substitute on this. If he was that set that Gunner Ron used. That set is savage. Savage. Go for substitute, do it. I mean he he obviously doesn't have it. He just recovers on the predicted dragon tail and he gets glared. Damn, if he recovered there, uh, if he substituted there, it would have been a clean sweep and like... What did the Astounded have for this if it was substitute? It's life up, okay. If it was the leftover set was sub, GGG my man. W would have been fun. But now he just goes back to Ferrothorn or Magina. I, I guess it makes sense that he keeps his Magina healthy. Because it's a Xerneas answer, but Pharaoh is also kind of his Xerneas answer, so does it really matter? Magina, um, like, checks Xerneas better, I get it. Okay, this time he goes Magina. as a nice mid-ground play, because that... Pharaoh would have taken, like, more from Focus Blast. And he can just fire off a Florican or... What else? He can pretty much fire off a Florican. He could have also gone to Gengar and be immune to Focus Blast. But that... Was not the best play in case like his claim switched. Okay, this time he goes Gengar on the. I thought like his claim might have doubled out the turn before. The Zarni is about to get blown away. Nice substitute. Astana just wins this. Yeah, he has Sludge Bomb too. He has Sludge Bomb to get the poison, so Hex does more damage. Glare on the Zygarde and the Sacred Fire to get Paras and Burns. That boy is out here with the Hex support. It's like a clean set GG and it's over. Like, I don't know how much the Precipice Blades miss on the Arceus Merit. That boy drops to rocks, Mance drops to a Hex or Sludge Bomb. Probably will go for a Hex. And we will say GG was fun. That was a quick one. I kind of enjoyed this one even though, like... I still don't know that much about Ubers. Oh yeah, someone messaged me on Smogonet, and yeah, we'll get that guy in the, the video. I forgot his name now. My bad, guys. 
I will get him like make him join another video. Not, I don't know if today, but like in general, because it's always nice to have someone with knowledge about Ubers. If you're recording an Ubers match, oh, you have two new alerts. Who was that? Let me just uh, hop on here on page one and check who the runas played, what the score is. They play in the Fireball Falcons. Right, right, left, these lost was AB. Yeah, that game was interesting. Sadly, I missed it. So this was um. Here we are, here we are. Simon so was like kind of standard. So the score is one and two for the runas. Um, I'm so hot for Sweepage versus Blunder. I really hope I don't miss that one. But that one is like later on in the weekend. The um most interesting match today is Reiko versus Zamrock. I hope it doesn't get postponed again like Zamrock's week um, did. Like Zamrock's week. Ah, oh God, why can I not talk? Zamrock's game got postponed last week. I, I'm missing up my outro. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more SPL. I'm Doc, which I'm signing out. Peace, friends.